We don't talk about this. All right, thank you for being there. Because we don't this is want to talk about this kind of dirty things. The witchcraft but in they the are Nigerian church. And this has to do and many lives with the are rituals wasted. of sexualities. With the rituals of Many people are falling into traps without realizing it. Uh, a certain pastor rituals. friend. I don't know how to put it. But the rituals they perform. Started a church somewhere along through road, uh, road sexual there. intercourse. Uh, about three years later, said, your mind may he go was driving on the road. I really, I'm not and somebody stopped him. Hey, 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 pastor, pastor. You know, but this is he the said he didn't recognize the man, the but so, the way he was like calling pastor, see, pastor, pastor, pastor and let me stop. Share. So he stopped. Share and let it get to and the hands of to other him. persons. Thank you so much. I got give, us, give us a subscription, like the video, you. and put down your comments Anyhow, in the comment section. Let's know since he's going the same direction. I'll be seeing you in the last episode of this. As soon as he entered the car. It's like four. Ah, it's the church. Of one. Meanwhile, this is And he was wondering what is he talking about. He quoted the dates. this. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. We don't talk about this because we don't want to talk about this kind of dirty things. But they are happening and many lives have been wasted. Many people are falling into traps without realizing it. A certain pastor friend in Ibadan here started a church somewhere along Old, uh, Old Fair Road there. About three years later, he was driving on the road and somebody stopped him. Hey, 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 pastor, pastor. He said he didn't recognize the man, but the way he was calling pastor, pastor, he just felt, let me stop. So he stopped. And the man ran to him. I go, you better. And he was wondering, I don't know you. Anyhow, since he's going the same direction, let me take you forward. So he entered the car. As soon as he entered the car, it's like, how is the church? And he was wondering, what is he talking about? He quoted the, the dates they started the church. I was there. Ah, okay. So how is the church now? Thank God we are doing fine. And the man said, how many are you now? He said he felt insulted, but at the same time, why not? He answered. Sometimes we are 15, sometimes we are 17, sometimes 20. And the man said, in three years, you are still 20. Ah. Oh my show. And two by Moby Tech Bear. I'm a sorry poor. And he said, I don't understand. And he said, Well, if you allow me, I can grow your church for you. I can grow your church for you. In the next two months, you'll be counting thousands. And the man said, What what are you talking about? He said, all you need to do is give me the go-ahead. Just give me the go-ahead. And I will do it for you. The only thing is, one person will die one year. One person per year. You are not the one who will kill them. You will just point the ring at one person and the person. You won't, you won't carry knife. You won't carry cutlass. If you just give me go ahead, you don't need to pay anything. We will do it for you. Uh, the pastor I'm talking about was a colleague. We know each other. I can mention his name. I can even tell you where his church is. He's still in Nevada here. So you can go and ask him questions. These are events happening in the body of Christ. Rituals. Using human for rituals in various ways. In various ways. The man told him, just one person. Out of several hundreds that will be coming. It's just one person. You won't know, you won't care, it won't matter. It's only when you are just started that one person is important. Now that explains the unexplainable deaths and disappearance of people around some ministers. You just discover that somebody is missing. You don't know what happened. They won't, there won't be any story. There won't be any talking. Because there are plenty of people, anyhow, they come to the place there and they go on as though nothing has happened. 
And unfortunately, a lot of people are involved without realizing it. There was a pastor I needed to, I had to join to pray. Because he observed that in his church for about three years, at least one person died. It was a consistent event. And around the same time, somebody will just die. So he spoke with me on phone and requested that I should join him. I should please help him to pray. And I went there to pray with him. About three of us, we were praying. While we were praying, the Holy Spirit opened our understanding. That there were some members of the church. Some of, not members actually, leaders in the church. Not the pastor. The pastor does not know about it. The wife does not know about it. But some leaders in the church have done some covenants on behalf of the church that these people are dying for. Every year somebody must die. So that pastor did not know but is a part of an evil covenant of blood sacrifice. And there are so many like that. There was another church I was involved with. And I was praying, you know, I needed to do some things with them and I was praying. And the Lord gave me a picture about the church. And what was this picture I saw? I saw that there were about ten ladies. You know, ladies in the revelation. They were dancing and dancing, wild witchcraft dance. You know, well, I, I don't know how much you know about these things. It's like when uh, they are tokens of the masquerade are dance, dancing. You know, masquerade now. And when talk we go, when they are dancing, they are waiting for the real masquerade to come out. They are dancing, dancing, dancing. That's the picture I saw. And then the masquerade came out. And they, began, and they began to dance around him. And then I looked closely. And I saw that that was the pastor of the church I was praying about. He was the masquerade. And these ten ladies that were dancing around him were leaders in his church. I said, what kind of revelation is this? And the Lord said, these ten ladies are the strength of that church. They are the ones operating in their own power. They put their grace upon that pastor. He is not a servant of God. He is a minister of those ladies. He is serving their interests. Because he is not using the power of God. He is using their own familiar strength. We don't understand. Anyhow, I am sure the persons I am speaking to will be understanding what I am saying. So what I am trying to say is that there is a lot happening. I must have told you about a friend of mine who was working in a ministry. And one, night, one day I went to pray in the mountain. I, I wasn't living in Electra at that time. And the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about him. He said I should tell him to resign and leave where his ministry is serving. How can I tell somebody to leave his work? I don't do that kind of thing. But the Holy Spirit kept on pressuring. So I called him up. But somehow he didn't listen. Until I got there and, and uh, his health has gone very bad. Later we, rea we realized that his president had changed the boss. He was no longer serving the Lord Jesus Christ. He was already into occultic things. And he needed to make a human sacrifice. And my friend was the victim chosen. Was the lamb for their sacrifice. He would have died if not for a lot of prayers. But God preserved his life. Those are the kind of witchcrafts going on in the Nigerian church. That's my point number two. Let me, let me talk about point number three. True immorality. Another dimension of witchcraft that has manifested or is manifesting in Nigeria's church is using sex to absorb power. Using sex to absorb power. Now you see a lot of a lot of uh, sex, sex, how do I call that one? A lot of immorality in Nigeria church. But they are not just sex for sex. They are sex for power. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand. And they think that some of these pastors are just uh, sexually uh, uh, aggressive. Too aggressive sexually. How can one man be sleeping with ten girls? Be sleeping with so so and so number of girls, and you begin to wonder, ah, ah, oh my, oh my, like that, I go, you must be a strong man. No, 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 no. It's not because they like sex or they have capacity for sex. 
is because there is an evil spirit operating inside of them that must be worshipped by immorality. And that evil spirit is the one that is sleeping with those girls inside of this man. There's no man who can do that much of sexuality on his own. There's an evil spirit that comes upon them. You know when an evil spirit comes upon somebody, even a small girl like this, you will need about six, seven FT men to hold her. Don't you notice that? The same thing is what is happening in the immorality that we are talking about. The sex that is going on that I'm talking about is not sex for sex. It is sex for power. There are some of them that cannot go to the altar until they have slept with a girl. I told you in uh, USA local government, there's a place they call USA in Taraba State. The pastor, a pastor who facilitated our meeting there, was talking about our meeting because he was so excited. Ah, praise God, Daddy, this was a wonderful meeting. Ah, oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. After some time, I had to say, because he was in our car, my wife was there, I was there, and this man was just talking. So after some time, I said, excuse me, what are you talking about? Say it so that we will understand very well. He said, the last crusade that was done in this town, the man need a virgin to sleep with every day before he can prophesy. So the pastors who were hosting him will go around town and grab, get one virgin that he must sleep with. When he disvirgins that girl, then the power in him will manifest. In the Nigerian church. He needed to have sexual contact with the virgin before he could prophesy. And they were doing it. Pastors were giving him those sacrificial lambs. They were getting it for him. Some years ago, I served under a man whom I respected so much. But I was shocked when the story of immorality broke out against him. It was such a very bad dimension of immorality. And I was wondering, how can this kind of thing be happening in the life of a man this highly anointed, highly placed. I was wondering, how can somebody be a man of God, not even just a child of God, for many years, and he is also a serial immoral, immoral, immoral expert. How can that happen? Well, I never understood that puzzle until after I left the place. After I left the place, I began to see more, more like him. A number of them who are doing the same thing, who are operating at the same level. And then I began to investigate in the spiritual realm. These are people that when they are ministering, you won't see anything wrong with them. They are so anointed. You see, you see much of charisma around them. You see so much of grace around them. In fact, if somebody tells you such dimension of immorality is taking place, you won't believe it. You say, no, what of that? There are plenty of them like that. Some of them, they will not go to minister until they are slept with a girl. I told you about the one who did crusade in one place. For the crusade, got three ladies pregnant. Now, when these ladies get pregnant, you know, the normal process is to procure abortion. And when abortion is being done, there's a lot of bloodshed that is done. That, is, that blood is a sacrifice to the devil. A lot of blood sacrifice in the church of Jesus Christ. Some even use boys, anyhow. Let me add one more before I close. 